Hey friends, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about Mob Cycle 100 on Season 3 or or Season 3, you know, or 3, you know, whichever one that seems fitting for you that's on Episode 1 or you could call it like, um, whatchamacallit, let's see here, there was 13 episodes in Season season 2 and then 13, 12 episodes for Season 1, so 20. Uh, 26, I think, yeah. On ep or episode 26, you know, of, like, um, total numbers of episodes of Mob Psycho, you know? Now, this episode right here was actually a nice way to come back, you know? There are some kind of awkward things, as always, but if anything else, let's just get this started. Um, we have to it that, um, after the opening, which is really nice and slick, you know? Um, there is a nar there were there was a short narration before the opening talking about what what of like certain spirits and exosims and something like that but yeah but throughout this episode in this throughout the this episode the theme of it is like um what are you gonna do for your future kind of theme and mob we all know how strong and deadly he is um or shigeo how you want to call it um he apparently is trying to figure out what he wants to do you know because throughout this time throughout his series all he's ever done was like maybe help out on his part-time job job taking down like um evil spirits and all that etc and of course he does find out about subomi chan which is the which is his like crush and love interest obviously which you already should get should already know by now that um that he finds out that she's about to go study abroad possibly and that's when his limit breaking or something crushing thing increases to seven percent and we all know what happens when he's at 100 percent you know, breaking that limit, li limit. you know, once he reaches 100%, everything goes to hell, or everything goes to hell, you know, that kind of thing, and repeating myself, I'm sorry, but that aside, there was some nice jobs, you know, throughout this episode that Reagan and the other guy was doing, you know, um, Serizawa, um, they end up taking care of some kind of cursed, cursed doll, which apparently the guy said he bought for 80,000 yen or something, which they go like, Oh my gosh, this is only 500 when they look at the price on the, the I was just laughing my butt off, and I'm like, poor guy, dude. And the guy says, like, hey, I think this thing is like an evil spirit. Can you help me out here? He goes like, yeah, sure, why not? Hey, you guys, handle this. Serizawa comes in, destroys the spirit, but apparently breaks part of the piece of the freaking, like, um, wooden doll or statue, whatever you want to call it. But Reagan does his, like, funny special abilities kind of thing and manages to like him fix it up which i think it's only temporarily for the time being <laughs> but yeah um but like i said throughout this episode you know kageyama shigeo or mob however you want to call him um is trying to figure out like what he really wants to do you know i mean like um, he's been having that kind of trouble ever since the start of this episode or when he was told to, like hey find out what you want to do you know that kind of thing and eventually um we get to know what kind of career or path he wants to go for, but we have yet to actually if that might be very, like, um, be the case. Because, um, they end up taking care of another evil spirit, which apparently is haunting the guy that is in his late 50s or something, talking about, like, how his life is all screwed up and so forth, and that he, he believes something's, like, haunting him right now, that kind of thing, which apparently something is, and that evil spirit is actually, like, um, Messing everybody's like willpower and telling them, hey, go to sleep. If you work too hard, just go to sleep kind of thing. You'll malfunction and die or something. I'm thinking in my mind, oh, shut up. If you don't move, you're going to die anyway. You know, that kind of thing. But this guy who apparently has that curse whatsoever and it's affecting everyone around it. Pretty much doesn't know what to do exactly. And, you know, Shigeo and Serizawa, which I believe that's his name, real name, I don't know. But all I know is, is like, Reagan employed him to become, to work for him, you know, kind of thing. And, you know, you get the idea. But, um, all I know is, is that that guy is pretty much haunted by some evil spirit. And Shigeo, or Mob, and Serizawa easily takes care of them, no problem, you know. And right now, Serizawa and Mob ends up having some kind of shutdown or say should I say some scared, scared part right now because this is what's really going to happen to him, you know, that kind of thing. He doesn't know what, what path to really go for or what to choose for the time being. But Mob or Shigeo does encourage Serizawa that you're going to be fine, you know. I know, like, um, you learn a lot of things and figure out what to do, you know, that kind of thing. But for me, I don't know what I'm supposed to supposed to do and it says progress towards mobs explosion 18 percent so i guess from 7 to 18 you know which apparently 
<laughs> increased by 11%. I mean, he, he started having that mob explosion increased percentage when it was at like 7 when he heard Subomi chan is gonna like, um, whatchamacallit, um, study abroad kind of thing, you know, this, which is really, which is really hilarious. <laughs> Which is really hilarious, and we all know how deadly that explosion is. Repeating myself and reminding you guys again that when he reaches like um, at least 100% or above that, all hell breaks loose, you know? Eventually, um, Shigeo does talk with his like um, advisor of what to do, and that he decided to figure out that maybe he might want to be a traveler kind of thing. And I thought it was pretty um beautiful, and he, he at least finds out what he possibly wants to do. But maybe like... um. That could change a little bit in the future. That depends on the situation itself, you know. I mean, like, um, the guy has, like, super psychic, psychic telekine telekinesis powers. We all know that for sure. But, like, um, that aside, um, we have to it that Shigeo or Mob talks to Reagan saying that he may have chosen what he needs to do, you know, kind of thing. But he may not be able to work with him later in the future. And Reagan's like, hey, it's understandable. Hey, I'm not trying to, like, tell you, like, um, eh, just keep working for me kind of thing. Everybody changes eventually, you know. And Reagan does tell Mob, like, eventually you will. Eventually for me, you know, I mean, like, um, I changed my job or quit my job because it was boring, you know. I wasn't really satisfied with it. And we all go through that certain stage, you know, because, like, um... We go for a certain path of career and we're not very happy about it. But some of us just like um dealt with it because it's just it's just us, <laughs> you know? And you know, like I said, this episode is just about future career paths whatsoever. And then preview next episode, not gonna really talk about talk about it there, but all I know is like um it's called Yokai Hunter Amakusa Haruki Haruki appears, the threat of a hundred demons, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, it looks like we're about to have an action-packed episode next week, so hopefully it'll be exciting. I mean, like, um, I was given a chance to possibly watch, like, a mob psycho about it. I mean, like, um, in the Crunchyroll Expo a bit, but I decided not to because I like to keep things in a surprising manner. But, yeah, so until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!